This is a step in the right direction and it shows us the focus and the direction that we want to take. Congratulations. The relationship between Asamankasi Traditional Council and the Catholic Church has been very cordial. And for any time that Catholic Church approaches the Traditional Council for land, for development projects, for establishment of institutions, we never slack or relent. As we stand here today, we can boast of St. Thomas, and now we have St. Mary, my Lord Bishop. As we believe in the Holy Trinity, as a Mankesi traditional council is ready for the third saint that will provide for us. We are looking for maybe St. Teresa Nursing Training College or whatever. We are more than prepared and ready to provide additional land for that project to go on. Students, we live in a dangerous age and we live in dangerous times. The advent of social media has become a two-edged sword. It has its advantages and yet it has dangerous disadvantages. As a student, you must look at the time that you, send, you spend on Facebook, the time that you spend on TikTok, the time that you spend on Instagram, and the time that you spend on Snapchat. When you are more concerned about running out of data than doing your assignment, you should know that you are on a slippery slope. Today, I would like to tell you that social media can be an instrument of good. Indeed, YouTube has an educational function that you can use to help you. Less on Instagram, less on Facebook, less on whatever. When you live for trending, when you are concerned about taking pictures and uploading, and every 10 minutes going back to look how many people have commented and like it. And when they haven't commented and like, three hours later you repost. At the detriment of your studies, then you should know that 
you are not doing yourself any good. At this age and at this time, society is accepting some norms which are unacceptable. In the name of rights and freedoms, certain things are now being accepted. But I trust the Catholic Church and I believe in the school management that they are bringing up these children on the way they should go. And when they grow up, they will never depart from it. Let us be mindful of the dangers of the digital age. It can be an instrument of good. It can also be an instrument of evil. So in department and everything, the other departments, looking at the number of private schools around, can we look at the possibility of getting a contract of sewing the, uh, the uniforms for the private schools as a way of generating funds so that final year students can also use it as a practical work and as project works. Equally, can we use a look at the possibility of having a school or student-run restaurant over here as part of their practicals, as part of their project works open to the public for which internal funds could be generated. Spirit. Amen. 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 40 years. Hooray. Amen. Your immense contribution towards the development and progress of the Institute as the first principal. You ensured the survival of the Institute by reaching out to parents at home for students to patronize the school. Through your initiative, the Institute was able to acquire land as their permanent site which is now a success story. Your leadership has left an indelible footprint in many hearts, and the Institute congratulates you on your sterling leadership skills exhibited during your tenure as the principal of this great institute. Here you go, and may God bless you. Amen. We can do better. Thank you, thank you. In our hearts and even beyond. You traveled several miles for board meetings irrespective of the risks and costs involved. You have over the years forfeited your allowance for attending board, attending board meetings and gladly used such funds to sponsor the meetings as a result of your deep-seated love and passion for the development of the school. It will be a miscarriage of justice if we do not seize this opportunity to acknowledge and appreciate your enormous contributions and sacrifices, which has brought the school this far. St. Mary's Technical Institute and the school board is grateful for your dedication and unflinching support towards the progress of the school. Thank you, and may God bless you. A lot, Bishop.
recognized as having an important role to play in tackling youth unemployment. TVET's orientation towards the world of work and the acquisition of employable skills means it is well placed for addressing issues such as skills mismatch that has impeded smooth school to work transition for many young women. And Confident, ladies and gentlemen, the Institute will make the necessary plans and adopt new strategies to meet the challenges of, this, of its future. You have achieved much during the past 40 years. We have looked after the education and vocational needs of many girls and boys throughout these years. The Ministry of Education under the TVET service has also set and beefed up laboratories and infrastructure for all trades to assist students with learning which we say a very thank you to the government. The Institute has placed itself to overcome society prejudice and attitudinal barriers of Ghanaians when it comes to TVET education. I am sure that with active participation from the government, stakeholders of TVET and other concerned stakeholders, this Institute will continue to implement inventive programs to cater for the needs of the country. I am sure this will enhance the economic empowerment of the youth and the nation. To our gallant teachers, I say keep on doing the good work. However, remember the trainees and students of today are exposed to more experiences via the social media and the internet and can be easily and can easily learn ahead. An effective way to manage such students in a clever manner. So the Institute doesn't have a proper network of all students. It has a great alumni in all corners of the world. We as the alumni will strive to improve our networks, to be able to position ourselves to assist the school and its trainees in the near future. I would end by following the existing protocols, my Lord Chairman, to commend the Institute's Management Committee the 40th anniversary organizing committee, and the many helpers and well wishers for their hard work, tireless efforts in making the wonderful celebration of our great school anniversary area. Thank you for watching Nation One TV. Kindly subscribe for more news updates.